can see it starting to get just a little more heated. That late hit just indicated that. Bradley back to throw on first down and 25. Wide open. Touchdown. And take a look at the reaction of Danny Bradley. They played the great game of football at the same high school, at the same university, and wore the same jersey number. Just outside the 17, end around, an option to Mark Bradley, wants to throw, touchdown! Both played in the same bowl game for a shot at the national championship. Danny and Mark Bradley were also both drafted into the pros at the same position, and later became the first father-son player-agent combo in the history of the National Football League. But it's how these two men overcame what some would call insurmountable yes. odds to finally get to know each other as father and son <laughs> that certainly makes for one remarkable story. You know, this is a, um, this is a love story, and, but uh, it's, it's loaded with all kinds of drama uh, and innuendos. There was a whole collective uh, effort here to, uh, to keep uh, Mark and I separated. And for the first time, they're taking you inside their fractured lives, revealing intimate and troubling details of their horrific family drama. A dad taking on an entire family to gain access to a son he never knew he had a mother and her relatives mysteriously fighting to keep the real father out of the picture, and a child stuck in the middle of it all, forced to choose sides. My family had a, a lot of jealousy and, and bitterness and all these things uh, towards my father, so it took years for me to uh, shed those layers uh, of these things that was instilled in me as a kid. And, uh, I think the hardest thing that I ever had to do was share with my father that I was jealous of. The 20-year-old battle that began in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Why a young man would consciously step away from his dream, an NFL career, to place himself in a position to save his only child. How they all resolve their painful differences. It's all in the new book, Inseparable, Faith, Family, Fatherhood. I didn't know my father for the first eight years of my life. Early on, I was named after another man. Um, my, my mother never really revealed to my father, my true father, um, that I existed until he was getting ready to play for a national championship. Uh, he was a big time quarterback, MVP. The Sooners came back in the second quarter as Danny Bradley scored from a yard out. Then on the final play of the half, Bradley threw a strike to Derek Shepard, who raised 56 yards. Hey man, this was the biggest game of my career. Uh, we had finally arrived at the pinnacle of what college football is really all about, the national championship game. And, uh, you know, I entered that game, you know, just broken, unsure as to what life would hold next. Here's Danny Bradley coming on in. He's disappointed, Danny Bradley, but we appreciate his time. Danny, a couple quick questions, we'll let you go. It was a tough game, but the offense seemed to have problems with turnovers. What caused him? I, I don't know, but we just didn't play well. We, uh, I guess, had our minds on the national championship too much. You know, it was a very trying time a very difficult time. Um, there were things that were said about my father, um, uh, about him being a deadbeat dad, uh, those things that I participated over the years, uh, and those things simply wasn't true. I didn't have any idea that, you know, I would have to endure the next 20 years of this particular kind of war. You don't know these things out the gate. Uh, I've always had a lot of respect for his mom. I, I, di I could not have envisioned that uh, I would face uh, that kind of obstacles, but, um, you know, we, we made it through. Through it all, my father just simply loved me through it. Uh, he was a focused dad. He used the, the, the higher standard, which is the Word of God, to govern um, what he was doing in his life and uh, what he was doing in mine. But I, I definitely um, love my mother as much as I love my dad. I would encourage mothers to not badmouth uh, these kids' fathers in their presence. Uh, it paints images in their heads. I, I often say that, that um, the desire to please my mom kept me in bondage, but the love and, and, and sacrifice and faith of my father set me free. If you get a chance to read the story, and it would spell those things out, um, how we now have a relationship that we never had. So um, I, I commend her for uh, coming clean and basically sharing a heart, but uh, this, that wouldn't be possible without, you know, my father loving me and loving my family and 
her to get to this point to where we are. I have, um, over the years, often told him that uh, you, you don't have to thank me uh, for being a good dad. I'm just doing my reasonable uh, duty as a father. I, I saw this as a, you know, a gift from God, to be honest with you, at this point in my life. And, and uh, understanding that our kids are our assignment, it, it was just right for me to do. Uh, I didn't necessarily write this book to honor my father. Um, because I honor him every day. Um, this book is to honor all fathers who are willing and wanting to do the right thing uh, by their children. I simply wrote this story to encourage families and reunite and, and reconcile in ways that they never thought they could. Inseparable. Faith. Family. Fatherhood. Available at Amazon.com and Inseparable16.com.